ですね。<笑>そう。Off the memory stick that was on the camera. We then drop them into the Insta360 2024 Studio. So, this is the latest version of the studio. Now, I'm in the studio just now. This is the first opening shot that you saw looking down the Valley of the Wolf, just down there, standing on my skis on the edge with the view. So, this is attached onto the little helmet mount you can just about see there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a few different ways that I edited this on the way down. The first one, Was this little bit just here? This is the keyframe editor suite. So, wherever I want to think, I'll start. Let's just say this is my first keyframe. I've selected something and then I can zoom in or out or the other way around and select actually that's the view that I like. In my brain, I'm trying to make the horizontal, I'm trying to make the horizon horizontal like it is now without making it too warped and weird, but also not so close in that I can't see what's going on. So, That's where I'm going to select that first keyframe. And then I press play. Turn that volume down a bit so you don't get too much fuzz. Now, as soon as I turn my head, I don't want this side on view, so I go next keyframe. Try not to alter that horizon too much. And actually, I'm not zooming in or out. I'm going to keep it exactly the same. So it looks kind of smooth when it goes from one to the other. 
maybe at this point I want to zoom out a little bit just so I can see the skis a little bit clearer. I can see my head popped into shot, so I'm going to pull the view over this way. And again, hit keyframe. Press play. Just before I make the first turn, I hit another keyframe. I remember there, I drop in. Which actually is a pretty cool little snapshot. I could tap forwards just a little bit. Clearly a smiling face just there or not. Maybe I like that view and I'll, I'll use that for something later. So I might at this point save a little snapshot. It'll go straight to my desktop. So there you can see I've just pulled this as a photo. I'll play with that later if I want to. At this point though, actually I want the view to stay sort of first person point of view with the horizon. It can't be quite horizontal. I want to zoom out just a little bit. You can see the camera on my head just there. There's the next keyframe. Just before a turn, the next keyframe. And that's me midway through the turn, so I'll pull it over this way. So the skis are now pointing roughly forward. I'll repeat the process. Just before the turn, a keyframe. As I come round the turn, actually I didn't turn too much that time, so I'm only going to move a little bit. Now I could go through the whole process like this, but actually before I get too far into it, you notice I just, just zoomed in a little bit on the uh, the timeline down here. Let's go back to where I first started and we can check I'm happy with the view. Pretty smooth so far and at this point I'm going to add another little keyframe. You notice I've gone past it a little bit there. I know the next turn brings me around this way so I'll gently bring it back. And now there's a bit more of a grin coming through just there. That That's one way that I've used as the editing suite just there is all this keyframe clicking as you go. And you can be as accurate as you want. Actually, I just move it the tiniest little bit here or there. Once it's done, it's quite key that I export at the highest possible resolution. So ProRes takes me to the highest res. And then 3840 as the first number in the resolution cranks it up to its highest resolution. That's where I can get the max quality from the video I've just had and then I can start the export from there. That's one way of doing it. The other way, that one you just noticed was filmed from the head as is this one just here. This, this little clip now, as you'll see, is me holding the selfie stick in my left hand. You can see it in the shadow coming off me just there. So the other way that I can do from here is select the zoom that I like the look of and then on this time I'm going to select deep track. So I can select myself either by using that little yellow selection box or just clicking in the middle there. And then the computer is doing everything for me. I'm doing nothing right now. I'm sitting here staring at my computer screen while the camera follows me down. Why don't we just say we'll stop tracking there. Turn the volume down a little bit more once again. At this point, I'm going to... Well, at this point, it's quite a nice happy smiley face. Maybe you want another little snapshot of that one, just because that's cool. I can save that one for later. Maybe I decide, actually, that's a snapshot I want, but I'm going to use it for Instagram. So when I pull it like that, you notice I can just get rid of the uh, selfie stick there. And again, a little snapshot. Missed when I clicked there. Save that one for later. Actually, I'm doing this for YouTube as you are right now, but at this point, I'm going to spin it around, get the zoom looking about right, let's say there, where you get this amazing view ahead. Maybe I'll just hold the camera there for a second or two. And then do what I want to next. Maybe I'll spin it back and it can focus on me again for a few more turns. Very nice. Let's see how that one turned out. So coming back to somewhere in the middle of where it was selected on me. I could at this point think, actually, I want to zoom out a bit more, or zoom in a bit more. I'll take it to the max, which I think is a common mistake, actually, is people zoom out too far and it looks really weird like it does now. So let's go back in to about there. Once it's settled down, yeah, that looks more like it. At this point, it's spun around. Then I can bring it back. And again, if I'm happy with that one, export at the highest resolution, 3840, and pro resolution 3840. Start the export. That's the second one. 
The third one I did in a different way once again. Not the editing, but actually where it is right now. If I look here, zoom out a little bit. Oh, that's a happy looking face. Basically, all I've done here is because I didn't have loads of mounts and accessories with me. All I've done is stuff that selfie stick down through that little sort of semi inner pocket of my jacket just there. Making what is, in effect, a chest mount. That's the field. That's the way we're going. Stuff the camera on the selfie stick in the pocket. And here we go. Yee hoo! just means I need to be careful with the editing here so I'm going to select keyframe there trying to keep my body and my face out of the shot as much as I can so it just takes a little bit longer just to get that shot looking right there it is there as I come round zoom in a bit get rid of my nose and my face where's that starting point it's probably going to be about there there it is. Yeah, looking about right. I can add a little keyframe or two. But actually, because I kept my body relatively still, there's not much to need to change here. Possibly I'll zoom out a little bit. Now I'm flowing. Such a good run looking back at this. Let's have another little check of what we did. That seemed to work pretty well. There it is. Three little hacks. Two of them I use the keyframe. One of them I use the deep track. All of them I use that same Insta360 on the stick. You can now actually see it sort of sticking out my jacket just there. And then once I've got these files back to MP4, so a normal video file, I can then put it into an editing suite and do exactly what I want to do. Cut and crop and play with it as you saw before. And actually, the secret I've got just here is it's all done in iMovie. I don't need to do anything more than that. And even the voiceover right now is completely in iMovie following through. I just need to drop in the screen recording I've just done into this little editing suite and we're done. Thanks again for joining me here on the Ride Along channel. I will see you either on the snow, on the water, somewhere on these cameras or somewhere else on the channel very soon I hope. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you again soon.